right here we are in Avenue Q and this greenhouse here is for sale it's about 280 it was built in 1915 it's actually adorable the only thing is it doesn't have parking if it had parking it would be a different story but there's no parking so, anyway just looking I think it'd be fabulous to own a home in Avenue Q this is a back alley so I think there is parking back here We are on the ferry crossing and today we are going we're gonna get a stamp my book and we're going to Big Thicket National Preserve so we're gonna get a stamp and a sticker hopefully We did make it to Big Big Thicket National Preserve. However, the visitor center is closed. So I can't get a stamp. I'm gonna have to call them, tell them that I was here on this date, which is August 7th, and they'll mail me a, a stamp. So I'm gonna drive around just to see what the park looks like. Mostly it looks like it's just forest. So, big forest. It's a very big, thick forest. I don't know if I'm sure that's a person. I'm sure that's a person's last name. Not really sure. Okay, the humidity is fogging up my camera, but we're on a really small country road here. Hello, this is Michaela's room. We don't know whether she has a roommate yet or not. Not, not as of right now. Not as, as of right now, but this is her cell. It, it still looks like a jail cell to me. <laughs> but this is where she'll be living for the next year or, yeah, next year until May, May, June. Yeah. Or next year. So... She gets that one cabinet. So this side of the room is hers. She has to sleep against the wall. I don't like sleeping against walls. Well, I can move it to whatever I want. Okay, and then still. I can make it into a bunk bed if I want to. A bunk bed? Yeah, there's like extra pillars in the back. Oh. Okay, I guess she can raise it up. There's her desk. She's been unpacking. They have very minimalist IKEA furniture. I don't even think it's IKEA, it looks like Target. She gets one closet. This is a lot of stuff. Yeah, once I put it stuff, it won't Okay, once you so put much. it away. Yeah. You have a printer? No. Do you need a printer? I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever you need. Just, uh, just ask Tito, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to... We're just gonna explore. Yes, well, there's three of us, so she's gonna have to do her stuff. Who's this? The roommate that lives here already. Oh. 
She's in the room right here. Oh. Okay, to get that space, microwave. This roommate's already gathered up all her things here. Yeah, she lives here. Um, Full time? During the school year. So in the summer she moves out, but she moves in right when the oh. summer's done. Okay. Well, hopefully don't, don't get into cat fights. Okay, here's the bathroom. Oh, that's harsh lighting. Toilet. And a shower. Oh, you're gonna need chinelas. These girls don't know how to clean. We're gonna need chanela, so it looks, doesn't look like these girls know how to clean. They gave ID. you your key. This, yeah, my key. Your ID? It's oh, my ID. that's the key. That's the key? Mm-hmm. Is that also your food? I think so, yeah. It's everything. All right. What's this? Why do you have, why do you have pet food? Oh, that's my rice. Oh, okay, because. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Here we are at Katie's Seafood Seafood House. It's right on the wharf area. There's the water and there's the strand. Now, the reason I don't like coming here is that parking is limited and you gotta pay for parking when you're over there at the strand absolutely ridiculous I don't want to pay for parking it's not the amount it's the principle of it okay, I got a three fish taco what I need that what did you get shrimp alfredo shrimp alfredo and this is a shrimp salad, salad. here we are at Wada burger apparently it's a southern tradition or a Texas tradition and Everyone here in Texas knows it or has eaten here at one time or another. Since she's going to be a Texan, <laughs> got to try it out. As my dad, as dad always said, learn the language and assimilate. So we are, howdy y'all. See, we already got the language down. And now we're assimilating. Right. Whataburger was not going to happen because they don't have in-person dining. You go through the drive-thru and you eat in your car. And I don't like eating in my truck or my car because it, that's not a restaurant. That's not a dining room. It's to get you from point A to point B. And I don't want crap in my car. So we are here at Denny's and this is where we're having lunch. Third restaurant. We're back at the Mexican place. <laughs> Denny's had a 15 to 20 minute wait. And this restaurant was only five minutes away. So this is where we ended up. Sure, came here in the first place. Here we are at Stewart Title. Uh, we are signing closing papers for the condo here in Galveston. And for Michaela is living in the dorms her first year in college. That's the confusion. I'm, I'm sorry about that. So for the first year, she's living at campus. We're setting up residency for her here in Texas. That's why we bought the condominium. And next year, that's where she will be living. Right now, the condo is being rented out. The old owner is doing a rent back. When the owner moves out, we'll be back here in November. And I'll be hiring a contractor to do plans, submit it to the HOA have wait for approval and then they can start doing a couple of renovations not major ones just flooring and bathroom and kitchens well i guess it's kind of major but it's not a big place so that's what we're doing um other than that we're just we might buy another place here in galveston depending on what nevada does they're proposing 
attacks in Nevada, which is so wrong. If they do that, we're gonna buy another place here and set up residency here in Texas if that ever happens. It's ridiculous. All the Californians moved to Nevada and all of a sudden now they're going, oh, we need a tax, we need a tax. The reason why they fled California to begin with. Idiots. Okay, anyway. Thanks for watching this montage of the highlights of a week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, here we are again at La Mixteca restaurant. It's actually one of my favorite restaurants here in Galveston. It's really good food. They're only open for breakfast and lunch. They're open at 7, they close at 2. Period. They're not open for dinner. They're open 7 days a week. And it's really good food. So we'll show you what the food looks like. This is what we're having. The pork chop special with the green sauce is delicious all right two pork chops rice and beans the green sauce is delicious butter with my flour tortilla and walter is having two tacos two beef tacos mm -hmm.